Hello and welcome to the monthly music mix for July 2023 where I'll be covering all the singles and albums that I've listened to this month. Starting with the only single for this month, we have... If this world is wearing thin... Stay by Ghost. Stay is the latest single by Ghost released for the new Insidious movie. The song is solid, however I don't really like Patrick Wilson's vocals on the song. However, there is an alternate mix available in the huge Impera box set with just Tobias on vocals, and I think that version is much better. The song works pretty well with the latest EP they released. It's another cover song, but overall I am giving this song a light 7 out of 10. On to the albums we have... I've named this one JPEG because I like JPEGs. Scaring the Hose DLC Pack by JPEG Mafia and Danny Brown. JPEG Mafia and Danny Brown released a collection of new songs in the sessions of their latest album. However, unlike the full album, their mix issues present on the streaming version of the album aren't present on this DLC pack. However, the songs on here are pretty good bonuses to the album, and I'm really enjoying them, and I'm giving this EP a high 8 out of 10. Next we have Tragic Love Songs to Study To Volume 5 by Duck Boy. Duck Boy is the solo pop punk project by Suicide Boys rapper Ruby the Cherry and it's a pretty solid collection of tracks. You can tell unlike other artists who have ventured into pop punks, like Ruby has an understanding due to his past history with the genre. Uh, the songs are extremely short which is a downside in my opinion because this album only lasts like 12 minutes however the songs are punchy and they work really well and with all this in mind I'm giving this this album a light 7 out of 10 <laughs> next we have James and the Cold Gun's self-titled album James and the Cold Gun have released their first full-length project and I'm loving it it sound starts with a blistering three-track run that then goes into a moment to breathe with, with the track bittersweet the album stays high energy throughout every other track on the album, except for Grey Through the Same Lens. There's also a new version of the song Eating on the Sun on here, which actually surprised me as it previously released as a single, oh, oh, but this new version is a completely different version of the song. But overall, I'm giving this album a light 9 out of 10. Have you ever been lost? Next we have Utopia by Travis Scott. Utopia is Travis Scott's full length return since the release of Astro World. This album has a much different and in my opinion much darker sound than Astro World. Honestly this album sounds and feels like Kanye West Yeezus which isn't an unfair comparison since multiple elements from songs on here are from that album. But this album at its lowest just leaves me uninterested. However, those moments are pretty few and far between. There are also so many great moments on here like Hyena, Fiend, Del Resto, Love, and Lost Forever. Features on this album also do really good with the track list including Beyonce, Playboy Cardi, Kid Cudi, 21 Savage, and I especially like West Side Gun's verse There's on Lost Forever. But overall, this album's been really enjoyable, and I'm giving it a light 8 out of 10. Next, we have Black Box Life Recorder 21F slash Inner Room 776D by Aphex Twin. Black Box Life Recorder is the latest EP by Aphex Twin and is first released since 2019. All four tracks are great and have all the elements that make Aphex Twin's music work so well. I especially love how groovy In A Room 7 F60 is with the beat and the synths working perfectly together in my opinion. And overall, I am giving this EP a high 8 out of 10. That's the now for some bonus recommendations. I have Black Holes and Revelations by Muse and Hello Everybody, Nice to Meet You, We Are Midori by Midori. And with that in mind, that will be the end of this video, and I will see you in the next one.